Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, and we offer the Mass in veneration of our Blessed Mother. And the Eucharist is being offered for the repose of the soul of Dan Cosgrove. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Coming together as God's family, let's ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Son of Man. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that you are faithful who rejoice under the patronage of the Most Holy Virgin Mary may be freed by her motherly intercession from all evils on earth and merit the attainment of eternal joys in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him, to whom we must render an account. Since we have a high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness, but one who similarly has been tested in every way yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your, Your words, words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus went out along the sea. All the crowd came to him and he taught them as he passed as he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting at the customs post. Jesus said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed Jesus. When he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples. For there were many who followed him. Some scribes who were Pharisees saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors and said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said to them, Those who are well do not need a physician. But the sick do. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. You and I may be busy counting the seeds in an apple, but God delights in seeing the countless apples in every seed. My dear sisters and brothers, as God says in Isaiah 55, my thoughts are not your thoughts, my ways not your ways. You and I may look at things in a particular way, but God looks at us with the heart. The gospel of the day is a case in point in case, or how do you say that? A case in point. There is Levi, Matthew. We may see him as a tax collector, as a sinner, as a publican, as a traitor who has joined hands with the foreigners, as a cheat, a liar. But when Christ sees him, all he could see is the possibility that uh, that individual can turn out to be. How you see colors what you see. Depending on your viewpoint, your point of view changes. Our perceptions are colored by the way we see things, situations, and persons. Tomorrow we celebrate, or on Monday we celebrate Dr. Martin King Luther Jr.'s day. And when you see an individual, what do you see? Something black and white? or brown or yellow, or do you see an individual, a person, a person for whom Jesus died? You and I may be counting the seeds in an apple, but God, thank God, delights in seeing the countless apples in every seed. When God sees us, sinners that we are, all he sees is the possibility that we can turn out to be. And he gives us a second chance, and he calls us into his service. You and I may see a tax collector, a sinner, a cheat, a traitor in Matthew, but God sees a follower, a disciple, an evangelist, 
a witness to his resurrection. Depending on how you see, what we see changes. And so, as we go through this Eucharist, let's pray for this grace that you and I will see with a heart and look at people as God would look upon them. Let's pray for this grace. Please rise for the intercessions. For the Church of God, that she will continue to be the bearer of good news, that God loves the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation that stands in need of liberation, that stands in need of healing, that all divisions will cease and that we'll continue to be one people under God, and in God we will always trust. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the many in our families who are sick, and for families that take care of them, that heart within and God overhead, they will be grateful for the blessing that comes their way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Dan Cosgrove, for whom we offer this Mass, that God may bless Dan with eternal rest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now pause to pray for our own personal needs. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's pause for a while and pray for our personal intentions as the bread and wine are brought to the table. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, may we share Christ's divinity, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. 
pray to you, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Dan Cosgrove, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that Dan, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her beloved spouse, with St. John Vianney, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may come to be co-best to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord has looked on his lowly handmaid. Behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacrament of salvation, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that we who have honored in veneration the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, may come to experience in perpetuity the fruits of your eternal redemption. And we pray that you bless Dan Cosgrove with eternal rest through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
the mass ascended, go in the peace of Christ. And see you in church this weekend. Benediction will follow in a little while.